When you're looking at the Cal Water H2O challenge, sometimes it can be hard to see how you fit this in with everything you're already doing with your curriculum and it feels really daunting. But really what works the best is to replace what you're already doing with things for the challenge. Your students will be much more engaged because this is a topic they have chosen. It's a topic they are vested in. And I just find small ways to incorporate it into what I'm doing every day in my classroom anyway. If I'm already going to have them read a nonfiction article, I'll make it about their cow water topic. If I'm already going to have them write an informative essay, I'll have it be about one of the foundational um, pieces of background knowledge that they need for their project. I always tell my students the H2O project is about working smarter, not harder, and I try to really embrace that when I am facilitating the project. And I find it is easier and much more enjoyable when I start replacing things from the curriculum with things that they are interested in because they have chosen that topic and they are vested in seeing this project come to fruition. Hi everybody, my name is Sean McCarty with Hoover Elementary here in Stockton, California. I just wanted to give some tips and tricks on implementing the standards into using the Cal Water H2O project in your classroom. I know we have used the Cal Water Project for several years now and we've found a way to implement the um, California Common Core Standards for ELA and math into the Cal Water Project. Um, there's lots of different standards that you could use, including technology with the ITSE standards. Um, we've been using that and incorporating that into building the portfolio for the project. So both reading, writing, uh, typing, all of those technology standards that we're going to be doing with distance learning are also available to use and incorporate into your project. I know particularly for sixth grade, um, there was two really big standards that we used, um, including the ESS 3-3, which is basically applying those scientific principles and trying to minimize the impact on the environment. You'll incorporate that in almost any kind of a project that you're going to do with Cal Water, so it's definitely a good standard to hit, as well as the Physical Science 3-5 um, using the Engineering Design Standards. Um, I know we used a lot of those, so EDS 1, 2, 3, and 4, which basically describes the process. Um, I have graphic organizers that have like the six little clogs and they all move together, but it's a really good way to incorporate and teach students about how you can build a model, how you test it, how we have to go back. Um, the, the cycle really is circular and um, it, it's a great way to just get students to really think about what they've um, built or what they've designed and then to test it and to go back and fix it um, and, and try and really work on improving. Definitely using Google um, Classroom and, and documents, let students to collaborate. We're able to really use distance learning and get students to speak and work with each other even if they're not in the same classroom. So it's definitely an approach that you can use to help hit some of these standards, but also teach your students within the classroom. Life science is also a big one with earth um, systems as well. So life science one through five or earth systems with the water cycle 2-4 and 2-5 for sixth grade in particular. Um, talks about the, the, the actual water cycle, the filtering of it. Um, again, almost any kind of project that you're going to use or implement is going to incorporate something with the water cycle. So all of those standards are um, easy to implement. It's all about the project, all about what you are designing with your students. Remember to take the slow. Um, there are lots of different pieces with it, and it leaves a lot of flexibility for the teacher to be able to incorporate um, what they want um, using your own curriculum, using you know stuff you found on Teachers Pay Teachers. Uh, the, the Cal Water Project is vague enough for you to be able to implement and utilize all of your resources without having to um, you know, look for new things or to just be always on the lookout for stuff. So I really think that the Cal Water Project can be utilized with Common Core, with the ITSE standards, um, and any standards that you guys are utilizing, Cal Water Project will work flawlessly to implement a project within that. So I wish you luck. And again, we're going to be here to help you. And I look forward to working with you soon. Thank you. The H2O Challenge is a perfect opportunity to empower kids to become better students. They learn how to take charge of their education, research, analyze information critically, and take that information that they have learned and they use that in their lives and it becomes part of their culture. I've had students 
who have made water conservation and environmental um, topics become part of their daily conversations. I had one student that, it imp that the water challenge impacted her so much that she felt compelled to write a letter to the editors to tell the people in her community the importance of water conservation. As an educator, I've always looked at the data. And what the data has consistently shown me is that my students who participate in the challenge end up becoming better students. Their test scores rank, in the, rank the highest in my district and often the highest in my county. And that is because they learn how to look at data critically. They learn how to determine what is valid and what is invalid. And they learn how to take charge of their learning. They become so successful and they become proud of what they're learning. They want to share it. And more importantly, I've always told my kids, my job is not to teach you what to think, but how to think. And that is exactly what the H2O project has always done for my kids. They have learned how to think and they learn how to communicate their thoughts with others in the community.